Hello, this is Mark Boyer, and this is a short informative video on my Holy Anointing Oil 7 and my brand new DMSO Holy Anointing 7. Uh, in regards to the name, uh, it's based on Exodus 4.18, uh, where God gave the recipe for his Holy Anointing Oil. And in it, he used cannabis, uh, lots of it, okay? And when you break down the recipe for making about 10 gallons of it at a time, um, it works out to there was 18 parts cannabis for every pound of oil. Okay? And that turns out to be exactly the saturation point for uh, the oil. And uh, I guess God knew that back then in spite of the fact that nobody else seemed to, but God did, because he gave this recipe. Now, holy anointing oil is slimy, messy, or at least Moses' oil is slimy, messy, and they used to coat it all over their body. Okay? And then he'd walk into uh, this uh, Quonset hut, with, which had a fire in it, okay, and hot stones. And he would go in there with the high, other high priests, and they knew they were talking to God when the smoke was coming up the, the middle of the, uh, out of the roof of the Quonset hut. Uh, because what they were doing is taking the holy anointing oil and throwing it on the rocks. So these guys were pasted inside this tent. And they were talking to God when they saw the smoke coming up. At least that's what the people thought. Now, uh, you could only put 18 grams of oil, any oil, in olive oil. Okay? Now, I used coconut oil in mine because it's a better absorber. Okay? And instead of using pot, uh, I used hash oil concentrate. And this allows me to put 18 grams of hash oil instead of um, the pot. Okay. Now the reality is, is that would be 21 times more powerful than Moses's holy anointing oil. I've done the math. I could go through it, but it's irrelevant. I don't make a 21 times stronger holy anointing oil because it's exactly like Moses's. Exactly. Yeah, in fact, it's worse. It's slimier. It's greasier. It's it's not a nice oil. It's just not a nice oil. Now I found by put, going down to uh, where it was about uh, 5 grams per pound of oil, you ended up with a really, really, really nice hand cream. Okay? Really nice. It's got all the features of a great hand cream. And uh, uh, what else can I say? It, it's seven times. This one works out to about seven times stronger than uh, Moses' holy anointing. And thus the name, holy anointing oil seven. Now, there is, we, we offer a 100% satisfaction guaranteed on this oil. And I've never had anyone challenge the fact or bring one back. It just, it's too nice an oil. There is nothing bad you can say about this oil. Okay? It, 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 when people put it on, the first place they do is they put it on their hands. And it makes your hands silky smooth. Uh, you can't. You rub it on arthritic joints and the arthritis goes away. You rub it on sore muscles and the sore muscles go away. You put it, uh, it's just too nice. It's by far the best uh, lube and uh, uh, that money can buy. It, it, it's a genuine aphrodisiac. Okay? It truly does excite uh, your organs. Okay? Uh, the reality is, is uh, it's hard not to like this oil. It, it's just got too many applications. Uh, Sales of it just keep going on and on and on and on. I keep having to make it again and again and again. And it just, it's a steady eddy sale.
um, the reality is, is it's really nice oil. Okay, very nice oil. Um, now we come to DMSO holy anointing oil. Now, it, I personally admit, it's it's not that nice an oil to put on. You actually feel it working. When you put it on your hands or you put it on someplace where it hurts, you actually feel it. Okay? Now, the uh, it's a hot sensation. It's an itchy sensation. It's an irritating sensation on the skin. But, uh, deep pain, I mean really chronic pain, disappears. Okay, uh, just plain disappears. Hey, it's far more effective than the original Holy Anointing 7, Holy Anointing Oil 7. But, it's not as nice on the skin. Period. It's just not as nice. Okay? It's, uh, I wouldn't use it as a, as a lube. Uh, because it's too strong. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't use it as a, uh, as an overall body cream, uh, because, uh, there's too much chance of the, of getting an area dirty. The biggest problem with DMSO is one, it's irritating when you put it on your skin. Two, uh, there's a cleanliness problem with DMSO. Your skin has to be very clean. And it has to stay clean for at least an hour or two after you apply the DMSO. And that's because DMSO, uh, what it does is it goes through all seven layers of your skin instantly. And because of, that's because of the sulfur, DMSO, D dimethyl sulfuric oxide. It's a natural mineral. It's been around for thousands of years. We now concentrate into very pure, which they never were able to do back then. That's the only basic difference between uh, the, of this new product. Now, uh, DMSO all by itself, when you rub it on your hands or rub it on any arthritic joint, uh, will instantly take away the pain of arthritis all by itself. But it'll only last a couple hours. Okay. With DMSO and uh, THC combined very well, okay, molecularly they're a perfect match. Now, what happens is, is the chemical structure of the DMSO and the chemical structure of the THC are altered by making by putting them together. So basically, there is a big difference between the DMSO, holy anointing oil seven and the uh, regular Holy Anointing Oil Cell. Now, both of these creams I promote to be used as suppositories. And as a suppository, it, I, I highly recommend using the DMSO as opposed to the Holy Anointing Oil. Why? It's so much more powerful. Okay? And... You know, basically, the literature on DMSO as a suppository is uh, impressive, okay? It's by far the safest place to put it is hooping it up your ass by a country mile, okay? It, it, it's safe. Uh, how to do that? We have these nice little one millimeter, uh, milliliter uh, syringes of the DMSO oil. And what we do there is we heat the DMSO up, and when it's over about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, warm room temperature, it turns into a liquid. We suck it up the cylinder, uh, up, up these uh, syringes, and this here, one milliliter or so, is a dose for a uh, a suppository. And basically, you just uh, stick it up. Uh, your ass and uh, squirt and uh, it becomes uh, you can't feel it you can't feel it going in you can't feel the DMSO at all it's a zero sensation and uh, by zero sensation means uh, the DMSO attacks pain immediately 
I mean, in less than a minute, the all the pain that from anything in your central guts is gone. Okay, that's how fast the MSO works, all by itself. Okay, it it, it takes roughly a minute, and I mean, this is like stage four cancer uh, bowel pains from BPS, from uh, Crohn's, from you name, uh, from prostate cancer, you name the condition, the DMSO cream instantly, well, instantly, within a minute, the pain is gone. Uh, the only reason it takes a minute is because those twitching muscles, okay, those twitching muscles that are really, really throbbing, it takes them about a minute to stop twitching. And in that time, the person who has hooped one of these syringes is like going, oh my God, whoa, and it's great relief. Now, if you don't have pain, well, you, you didn't feel anything. And if you do have pain, well, within a minute, you don't feel anything. Uh, except that's a real good thing. You don't have pain. And chronic pain sufferers really need a way to get rid of pain. Uh, this, these suppositories are, again, I'll repeat, it's the safest place to put it is up your ass. Okay. It's perfectly safe. Now, what happens is, is the DMSO would wear off in about a couple of hours and you have to take more. Now, the problem with that is, uh, it's not very effective. Now, what happens with the T, the, by putting the THC in the DMSO, the DMSO attacks the pain, stops the twitching, and settles the nerve. And then the THC in the DMSO does its touch. And people with chronic pain are saying that they're getting a day and a half, two days of total pain relief by putting DMSO up their ass. I mean, it's that simple. Now, that's a, one of these syringes is about a dollar. Okay? Uh, as raw cost. Okay? Uh, a 25 milliliter vial is $25. Okay? And that will give you 25, maybe 30 of these. So in real terms, it's about a dollar. And that's exceptionally cheap for people who have chronic pain. Uh, they take pills that are three, four dollars, and it doesn't take away the pain. It just masks. Okay. This actually kills the pain. Okay. It, it, now, in regards to getting high from it, some people are reporting that they get very stoned from putting this uh, as a suppository, okay? It definitely uh, is and should get you stoned with enough, okay? The reality of uh, THC is it'll go all to the pain before it ever goes to a euphoric stone. That's just the nature of doing edibles and topicals. Uh, all of this, all of the medicine goes toward the pain first. If you don't have pain, then it's going to go to euphoric. Okay, and technically, you know your limit of how much you need by how stoned you get. Okay, now the reality is is uh, the DMSO. The uh, holy anointing oil seven without the MSO. Uh, very few people actually get stoned from that. Okay, very few people. But I have had many reports that it does. Okay, and uh, but very few. Uh, the DMSO holy anointing oil. Uh, there are far more people who say they get stoned off a of one milliliter uh, dose. But then again, some people are saying, I don't feel anything at all. Except the absence of pain, and that's really good. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, anyone who has a chronic pain condition, uh, like uh, broken hip, people who have had hip replacements are constantly in pain. Well, hooping one of these 
will stop that pain. People with uh, tailboat injury, uh, hooping one of these, that pain is gone. Anyone with any gut pains at all, hooping one of these will take the pain away. Okay? And I, I can't emphasize how how effective that is. Now, the reality is, is if it only keeps it away for the couple of hours as the DMS, then and it doesn't extend it because your pain is too great, then just use DMSO. Just use the DMSO, okay? Uh, we're promoting that anyone with chronic pain can just use DMSO. And it masks and takes away pain really well, okay? And again, the safest place you can put it is as a suppository. It's phenomenally safer than the skin, okay? There are lots and lots and lots of uh, blood vessels in your anus, and it absorbs it twice as fast, and you need to use half as much as if you ate it, because your stomach eats some of it, your liver keeps some of it, and then it gets into your blood system. If by hooping it, it goes immediately into your blood system, and then through the blood circulation, it goes through all the organs all everywhere, and it does that saturation of your body in THC, which is what actually cures the cancer. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, I think I've touched all the bases on this, and uh, uh, thank you very much. And uh, try it out. It's dirt cheap. In terms of pain management, you can't get any better. Uh, anyone with chronic pain uh, should do it. End of story. Thank you very much.